Yo guys, what's up? KLN here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an ultimate team and today we're going to be doing an auto position Reese James review. So, heading into the player bio, he's 5 foot 10 tall, height to medium work rates, right foot to primarily, with the 4 star skills and a 3 star weight foot coming in at around 250 to 260,000 coins. Now, when it comes down to the alternative positions, this guy can play right wing, right mid, or striker, which is actually really, really cool. So heading into the attribute details, this guy has some really good looking stats. He's got 88 pace, goes up to 92 with the whole chem style, which is what I've given to him. The finishing goes up to 88, shot power goes up to 96, shot power up to 99, long shots up to 92 with 77 volleys and 68 penalties. The passing on the card looks decent, he's got 84 vision, 92 crossing, 80 free kick accuracy, which is decent as well, 87 short pass, 83 long pass and 86 curve. Dribbling also looks pretty decent, 86 agility, 92 balance with 85 reactions and ball control, 87 dribbling and 86 composure. The defending obviously is what they've taken away from this card, but the physical looks pretty good, 88 jumping, 86 stamina, 92 strength and 86 aggression as well. When it comes down to the traits, unfortunately no shooting traits, but it does have the early cross trait which of course is pretty useful. I'm going to be playing this card at well actually in two positions i'm gonna try him out at the striker position and at the cam position in a 4 one 2 2 narrow so with the pink said let's get straight into the game for highlights with 88 raised out of position right wing reach james and straight off the bat heading into the first clip you guys can see we create a chance with full foden we have the ball here gets it into harland harland gets it into suso we don't end up scoring but a very good shot and unfortunately the keeper makes a save but harland is there on the rebound tap in and we do end up scoring to equalize in this game good work though from reach james good touch and a good shot actually and unfortunately like i said we don't end up scoring but here just playing around with him a little bit as well good dribbling and i wanted to chip it but last second decided to finesse it around the keeper and who got to let go of chip shots so it ended up well hitting a power shot or nearly hitting a power shot and unfortunately it didn't really work out but two seconds later here Bowden gets the ball into suso suso finds reach james and he's really really got to be scoring at but from that goal kick two seconds later a duplicate shot and we do end up scoring this one he makes it 2-1 in this game his first goal in this video and we do end up taking the lead because of it moving on to the next clip in this match kca has it gets it into suso he moves it on to reese james and continues his run reese james as well to hold of the play and well a few seconds later suso made the run through and tucks away a brilliant volley and we do end up getting a goal by the way if you guys want to see a review on the suzo card let me know and i will make that video as well i decided to get him because he's a fun card and i like him in real life moving on to the next clip here reach james has it going to keep it going takes it past van dyke so easily and that is a brilliant finish into the back of the net yet again by reach james to make it 4-1 in this match with that being said it is time to move on to the next game here and he does make the run at the top of the screen Kessier finds him with a brilliant pass, first time shot, volley from outside the box and a cracking finish. He gets confused on what celebration to do and so I'm just going to skip it but 1-0 in this game courtesy of a belter by Reese James. Moving on to the next match that was the only thing in that game unfortunately but a very similar goal to the one we scored against Van Dijk. Just cuts inside, cuts back out and slams it into the top corner. Brilliant finish from Reese James yet again and honestly the shooting on the card is absolutely fantastic and a few seconds later he's going to get a second goal this time a tap in on the three star weak foot button a tap in nonetheless and we do end up scoring to make it 2 0 and we do get a brace in this match with your boy reese james moving on to the second half of this match kese gets in fred fred finds reese james with a very good pass harland is in the box and take a touch whoops in a brilliant cross and harland what a shot first time into the back of the net but a fantastic cross from reese james to get a, what I think is the first assist of this video with him. Still in the same game here, Fred is going to try and make that pass into Reese James, clips it into his pass, first time, and smashes it into the back of the net. This guy moves his keeper to try and make the save, doesn't matter, Reese James is going to smash it in any way, in the same direction that he moved his keeper in, and this guy has enough, he's paused and he's end up quitting. Moving on to the next match here, Reese James, good skill, I went for the shot and he picks it up from underneath the speed very very well and unfortunately it ends up hitting the crossbar. 
on to Neslipia. Brilliant interplay between himself and Fred. Makes a good pass into the gap and Fred goes for goal. Green time shot into the back of the net. Fantastic finish, but a good pass by Rhys James. An either needle pass to the gap to Fred, who does end up getting Rhys James another assist in this video. Moving on, Fred and Rhys James linking up again. Fred takes into his pass. First time, half volley beyond the goalkeeper and into the back of the net. 3 0 in this game and Rhys James at the heart of all three goals so far. Still in the same match here, Rhys James was some pretty good skill just testing out the dribbling and ball control and he flicks it over Mendy with ease. So, like I said, in the same game, Rhys James can go for a run, another cross is showing off the crossing ability and the speed that this guy has and he just takes it and runs past that man so, so easily. The cross was very good and unfortunately we don't end up getting another assist but this guy's had enough, he pauses and he does end up quitting as well. So, now it is time to head into the last game of this video. Reach James in behind and on 3 star weak foot he should be scoring that but the goalkeeper does make a pretty good save. I am going to test the finesse shot still on this card just to say for, for the sake of it that we did try a finesse shot. Gonna go for goal and that was actually not too bad. A very good shot. Maybe I will try that again later and who knows he might end up scoring but fred another ridiculous pass and reese james went for it on his left foot had he gone for it on his right foot it might have found the back of the net at the near post but went for it on the left foot and unfortunately the keeper does make a good save moving on in the second half of this match Kessier gets it into reese james can get past his man does really well plays a good pass in behind to fred who's through on goal and tucks it away into the back of the net with a brilliant finish curls it into the bottom corner but a clinical finish though from Fred and Reese James there just dropping back and making that pass to get the assist. We are going to get an assist with Fred here though. Gets the pass into Reese James. Are we going to get an assist? No we not. On the 3 star weak foot he really should be scoring that but unfortunately the keeper does make a save. But like I said we are going to try a finesse shot again and here it is. Cuts inside, goes for it and he noops that. Just floats it over the goalkeeper and into the back of the net and we are able to end this video with a bang. What a goal from Reese James. So like I said we are going to end the video off on a bang and that was it. So with that being said it is time to review the card and you guys will see in 5 games he managed 8 goals and 3 assists so 11 goal contributions in 5 games is honestly very very good. This guy is very good at basically just everything. The all around Ability on this card is solid. He is not a ridiculous card, but he is a good card. He's just, he's just there. He's not bad, but he can get the job done on whatever you need him to. So I'm going to head into the attribute details and discuss each category and rank them on 10. So for the pace, the pace is decent. He can run in behind very easily, but unfortunately he doesn't really have the pace to run away from players in midfield. So when it comes down to the pace, I'm going to go ahead and give him a 9 out of 10. It is very good. He is pretty quick. Shooting. Honestly, the shooting is weird. In the first few games I played with this guy, I thought that the shooting was absolutely ridiculous. And you guys saw the finishes that he was pulling off, so you can't blame me. But then later and later on throughout the video, I realized that hang on the shooting maybe isn't that great. He does miss a few chances here and there. But honestly, the shot power on this card at 99 with the Hawk really makes a big difference. Because you just give the ball to this guy and shoot and he will blast it and whether it goes in or not is up to him but most of the time you guys know you're going to get well connected shots and powerful shots so shooting an 8.7 out of 10 i feel is fair the passing on the card is sensational short passing is very good it's perfectly wasted as are most of the assists in this video and the crossing is ridiculous so honestly for the passing i'm going to go ahead and give him an 8.8 out of 10 the passing on this card is phenomenal the dribbling is honestly a bit average he is kind of good at keeping the ball the ball control on this card is solid and he can get past a few players here and there but he does feel very stocky on the ball and that's of course just due to his body type and game you can't change that no matter what you do no matter what chem style you put in him he is going to feel stocky and he is going to feel a little bit clumsy and clunky here and there so the dribbling on the card isn't great but he can take a ball past a few players so dribbling an 8.7 out of 10 defending I didn't really try to defend with him, of course that isn't the point of this card, but it is Reese James, he can still defend regardless. Physical on the card is very good, this guy is very strong and he can easily hold up a lot of players on this game. So for physical, I'm going to go ahead and give him an 8.7 out of 10, and he does last a full 90 as well. Now, is this card worth 250,000 coins? I would not say so. If he drops to about below, maybe 
210 maybe around 200k or even below that it would be completely worth it do i think he will drop to that price 100 percent. this is only on the first day he's just come out so he will obviously drop a lot more i decided just to buy him and review him as soon as possible for you guys so that you guys can know whether or not you want him in your team for for this upcoming weekend league of course it is very important because this team of the week is insane so you want the best team possible now best camp style and best position for this card i would say best camp style would be the hunter the hawk or the engine camp style the engine camp style if you're playing him on the wing just to make him more technically gifted to whoop in those crosses and to actually beat players on the touchline and when it comes down to the hunter camp style this is if you're using him as a pure get in behind striker just get the ball turn and shoot and the hawk camp style is more if you want to use him as a guy just to drag through teams he can be that guy now best position i would say would be at the striker position but he can also play in the right mid or left mid position honestly three star weak so i don't advise putting him in left mid for those crosses to the far post but at right mid he is honestly pretty decent so with that being said it is time to bring it into the video if you liked it smash the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and until then guys stay tuned for the next one peace